I'm wearing that push-up bra that I bought and I feel like it's a little bit too much. That was a plot twist. Just trying to justify the cost to myself. But potentially I'll never get one, who knows. I'm a little bit worried about bugs flying into my hair. This is like not a real problem, but I'll tell you about it anyway. <laughs> Let me go get the other one, cause now I'm confused. I cannot believe I bought this. Okay, let's catch up. Hi guys, welcome to another weekly vlog. I don't even have the words. Ah! Okay, so by the time this video comes out, if I've planned my content properly, you should already know that I've bought this, but this is going to be my first impression of this, okay? It is so thick. Oh my God. I feel like I need to respect myself because you guys are gonna think I've never had anything nice in my life before. Okay. What is this made out of? This is not the time for the camera to not be focusing, please. I don't like the way you're behaving. Okay, I think we're on the same. Okay. This cardigan is so thick. Let me tell you the story because you guys already know. You guys already know. Okay. The Kate Scarlett cardigan, I put it on my wish list for 2023. I've wanted it since before then. I feel like the first time I saw this cardigan was on the infamous picture with Katie Holmes. It went viral. I didn't even know what Kate was, but I just knew that I loved her outfit. And ever since then, I've known that one day, one day, I'm going to get myself that cardigan. I have lusted over this cardigan for years. And every single year, my favorite influencers oppress me with their collection. I'm calling out my faves, Alyssa Lenore, Janae Naylor, formerly known as High Love Lux, Nuriana. Those three girls, their Kate cardigan collections to die. I've been like searching high and low all year for this cardigan on the pre-love market. It has been impossible, when I tell you impossible, to find this cardigan in this color, which is the barley color, which is the color that I wanted, in my size, even though I don't even know what my size is, for a significant discount. Like I just, I, I could not bring my, like the full price of this cardigan makes me feel sick. Like literally, makes me feel sick. You'll also know that I recently went to Selfridges trying to see if I could try it on because I've never even like seen this sweater in real life. Like all these years, I've never, okay? And it just occurred to me that I was spending so much time and exerting so much energy looking for this piece, not even knowing if it was gonna work for me. So why don't I just buy it, try it on and see? So that was my new strategy. And I told myself that the moment a decent discount code came up that I could actually use on this sweater because a lot of the times when a discount code comes up, you cannot use it on this sweater, like it's so annoying. And recently Matches was doing 20% off and I tried and it worked on this sweater. So by the time it was all, hold that thought, hold that thought. So I got 20% off when it was already like 10% off on that website anyway. So it ended up being about 30% off retail, which is still an eye-watering amount of money to spend on a cardigan. But I just couldn't pass it up because I was seeing this cardigan go for even more on the pre-love market. And I'm like, I'd rather get it brand new from a reputable seller. So I know I'm actually getting un momento. I'm a little bit peeved because I got this in the large size. And I just didn't know what size I was gonna be. I have actually ordered the same cardigan 
in a medium but I ordered that in a different color. I'm obviously not keeping both, by the way. I ordered both of them because I wanted to make a whole video around this cardigan and I thought that it would be helpful. There's like no real mid-size try-on of the Kate cardigan. Like I couldn't find one on YouTube, on TikTok, like literally nowhere. So I thought that I would make some content around it and hopefully I can find, you know, out which size fits me better but I have a feeling the, the large will be too big but let's see <sighs> guys this feels like a cloud that's I just why are nice things so expensive like this is just this makes me feel like every other cardigan I've bought in my life has just been rubbish. How is it this thick? How? Okay, something just fell. Okay, K cardigan beige matches fashion. Oh, this is the perfect color. This is the color I knew I wanted, but I couldn't find, I feel like it was already discounted on Mattis Fashion because it was in the large and it was the only size they had. Like anytime any retailer has this cardigan, it's like, we only have one and it's never in the size you want. And if it is in the medium, it's like more expensive. I don't know why, that must be the most common size. Okay, moment of truth. This is insane, guys. Oh my God, I don't think it's that small. I don't think it's that small. I wouldn't know until I try on the medium. I think the thing with these sweaters that makes it amazing is just the way it cinches in at the waist and the sleeves. It, this honestly, I'm, I was really hoping that I would come on here and tell you that like everyone hypes it and it's not worth it. That's what I was hoping because I did not want to spend this money. Like this is actually annoying me, but I do think, <sighs> I'm never going to be that person that comes on here and tells you to like waste money. But I do think that this is a, stunning piece of clothing now that i have this cardigan on me it's like i don't want to wear anything else it feels amazing i have to take off the bra top so i can see how low this would hit on me but i don't even need to take it off i can already see that if it was down here that's quite low whereas the medium will hit me a bit higher so that's very annoying but i do love this color i need to wait until the medium one comes in and then I can compare both sizes but guys I'm not gonna lie the girls that hype it up unfortunately they were right unfortunately I didn't want them to be right but they were right and what I wasn't sure about this color was if it would be too cool but now that I've seen it in real life I think I would be able to do like my warmer tones with it which is what my main concern with this with this color was i think because the buttons are quite warm i'll be able to do this because originally i wanted the camel color but now that i have this i actually think this is like the perfect neutral color which also explains why it's always the most expensive color let me see what it would look like with my bottega bag okay so it doesn't quite go with this color i mean you could make it work but not really and black will obviously work and white will definitely work it's so nice it is so 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 nice but yeah i'm gonna wait for the medium to come i think that will be more flattering and then i'll be able to wear it in more ways but i'm obsessed oh my god guys okay Ooh, the lighting looks good okay um, I just looked back on the footage of me wearing the Kate cardigan and it actually doesn't look that big on camera It looks amazing on camera though. But anyway, I think I've, I've gushed enough about it But I do think that I won't know what size on me I like better until I try on 
like the medium unfortunately the medium doesn't come until next week i just double checked so i was looking online just to see if, if i could find a medium in that color like just so you guys understand like how difficult it is there was only one retailer that like on the whole internet <laughs> besides like buying it from the k official website of course that i could find that has that color in the medium and it would be 300 pounds more than i got the large for we'll see when the medium comes in a way i'm just hoping that the medium the difference between the medium and the small and the large is like not as much as i think it's going to be <laughs> or maybe it's like too small for me i don't know what i'm hoping but i really want to be able to get the color that I've always wanted because the medium that I ordered is actually in their new seasonal like avocado greenish greenish color I'll end up showing you both in this vlog because I started this week's vlog on a Thursday there were so many sales that were happening over last week's bank holiday weekend and I just took advantage of them like I haven't bought anything full price this yeah for this month I pretty much already exhausted my shopping budget for this month which is fun <laughs> I've spent my whole September budget and we're still in August but that's fine um basically i was able to order the always pan i think i told you guys about that as well i ordered that during the bank holiday weekend so i think i got like 30 percent off of that so i wanted to do an unboxing um i think i might actually do an unboxing for tiktok as well i'm always trying to like think about short form content very exciting um like i told you guys they were doing a sale these guys are always doing a sale so definitely just wait for the next one. It was discounted from 130 pounds to like 95 pounds. Notice how when it's expensive, I'm like, um, 30% off, 20% off. But when it's something that's more reasonable, I'm like so happy, like it's easier to share the price. Like it's hard to, like the internet is a weird place. Cause I feel like if you're like into luxury, it's justifiable but if you're not into luxury like some of these prices are just stupid and even as someone who's like into luxury i definitely think the card the k cardigan is very expensive but that's just because i'm not really a ready to wear girl like i spend my money more so on bags when it comes to like the luxury world but i am trying to like invest in key pieces i love how i'm meant to be showing you the the pan and i'm talking about my k cardigan can you see that i'm still trying to justify the cost to myself <laughs> that's definitely what i'm doing isn't it okay i need to stop doing that all right let's open this bad boy up you guys put your guesses down below on the color that you think i got i'm not gonna lie like you would think that it would be a really straightforward answer for me but it actually wasn't Oh, you still can't. Oh, you still, you can kind of see. So yes, you can see from there the color that I got. <laughs> I got the, I think this color is called Steam, if I'm not mistaken. Kind of an obvious choice for me. It's like their beigey khaki color. I will say though, I did consider the green and I did consider their more rose color. But I just know myself, it'll eventually annoy me. So this is the cover. And then it also came with this little spatula i mean it's basically a, a, a wooden spoon but you'll see why it's interesting later this does look pretty exciting everything is very lightweight though that's one thing i will say like it doesn't feel like heavy duty stuff get ready to fry saute steam bake roast strain okay all right we get it Toxin free cooking, blah, blah, blah. You can do this, which is kind of cool. Has a little rest for your spoon.
so put your ass in my car, I'm good. Yeah, yeah, in the always pan and I have to say performed pretty well <coughs> I made a really quick meal I really like the steamer I think the steaming basket thing is like super smart however obviously like if you only have the one pan you have to do one thing before you do the other so now my broccoli's cold <laughs> all in all like I like it I like the concept of it the reason why I think our place the, the company is kind of cheeky is because they marketed this product as like the one pan you need the only pan you need you don't need to have like 50,000 different things and now they've released this pan they have the mini version of the pan they have a pot the mini version of a pot a cookware set which honestly like goes against everything that they set out to do right I mean even while I was doing that I was like there's no way this can be the only like cookware that you have it just doesn't really make sense so the concept behind it i don't i don't know it sounds a bit gimmicky now but yeah i'm going to plate up my food this is the sauce i get it from aldi i like it it's really easy i actually was planning to make a thai curry but i'm out of coconut milk i'm trying to not go to the grocery store until i've like cooked everything in my house so this is my lunch guys i'm gonna go eat that like I mentioned to you guys on last week's vlog, I'm currently re-watching the old seasons of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. So right now I'm on the reunion of season two and it's just so interesting like seeing their characters and like knowing what they're like now. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go watch that, finish off my work day. I have quite a bit of editing I need to do after work. I have like so many returns, I need to go drop, drop off at the post office as well. If anything else happens today, I'll pick you guys up and if not, I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning! Happy Friday everyone. I wasn't actually planning on vlogging today, at least not so early in the day, but I just got a note <laughs> I just got a notification from DHL that my 24S package is being delivered today. You know how I was telling you guys that my other Kate cardigan would be coming until Tuesday? It's coming today now. So I'm very, very excited. Today's Friday, if I haven't said that already. So hopefully we can like squash this whole, you know, um, Kate Cardigan decision today. Like I'm super, super excited about that. And I also ordered something else from 24S. <laughs> There's been a lot happening over here. I also have another update. So this morning, I've kind of been on a bit of a rabbit, what do you call that thing when you go down a rabbit hole? That's been me. I've been going down a rabbit hole for the past few weeks now, ever since the whole Luele puzzle bag being discontinued news became popular. And I was, you know, scrambling around on the pre-love market, scrambling around on the new market, trying to get, you know, the best deal. And I was working myself into knots and I just took a breath and asked one of my friends for her opinion. And she's someone whose opinion I really, really trust. Like I have, you know, you have friends that you reach out to for different reasons, right? You have your friends that you know that will just tell you to buy everything and anything. And those friends are great for when you're trying to justify a purchase you've already made. But then you have your friends that are just a bit more sensible that will actually like give you good advice, <laughs> no shade. So I reached out to one of my friends and I told her, you know, these are the three bags I'm considering because the truth is I have always been planning to buy a taupe beige bag. And I've had three bags that I've kind of been considering. It was the Paulin Noir bag, I'll put up a picture. Obviously the Louis Vuitton puzzle bag. But also more recently I found out that the Totem T-Lock bag has been released in this beigey grey. thing is I can't tell what colour it is. It looks different on the Totem website than it looks on the Matches Fashion website. So it's really difficult to tell what the true colour is. So I sent all three to my friend and she literally was like, I think the Totem bag is the most you and the Totem bag is the most me. It's the one I like the best. The moment I saw the T-Lock bag, I was obsessed, honestly. And this was when it was just released in black. I just think that bag is 
you know the closest thing to me in a bag that I've seen is possibly that bag. I've just been waiting for it to come in a color that I think I will get good cost per wear out of. So right now it comes in a white color which I'm really really intrigued by and I'm really intrigued by this tote bee khaki grey color as well. So she also asked me a question about the puzzle bag and she was like do you love it? That question I think is a question I needed to be asked because I've never loved that bag and if you follow any of my bags videos you'll know like I talk about that a lot like I talk about the fact that I don't love it it hasn't ever made me excited you know I like it on other people but I've never seen it and thought oh my god I really need that bag you know I've got to try it on a couple times and it's always been the same reaction like perfectly nice bag but I don't think it is my bag you know and I think when you're spending thousands on something you need to love it at a bare minimum and I've always known that and I think that's why I've always pushed it back like oh I'll get it next year I'll get it next year like that's literally been me for the past few years yeah I've kind of come to realize that I'm not going to buy the puzzle bag I've made peace with it I think the only way I will buy it is if I see it for like under a thousand pounds on the pre-loved market which possibly is not going to happen anytime soon especially with all this discontinued rumors I think people are buying into the FOMO I was buying into the FOMO and I've noticed that the prices are a lot higher on the pre-loved market now as well so I'm gonna wait for all the hoopla to die down and I honestly feel like in that bag I might even get like a, a mini or a small one and just get it in a really fun color if I see it on the pre-loved market and I think that will satisfy my, you know, puzzle bag want. But potentially I'll never get one. Who knows? I think for the rest of the year, the bags that I am seriously considering is the Totem Tea Lock bag. And then I think I'm also considering getting a Bottega pouch bag if they come up on the pre-love market. And then I think for next year, I am considering the Bottega Small Jody. So I've pushed that bag to a 2024 bag for me by the grace of God, of course. And I'm also really hoping that next year can be the year when I get myself a Lady Dior bag. So those are my two bags, I think, on the wish list for next year. I think two bags a year is very reasonable. I don't want to get into the habit of like, just buying bags for the sake of buying bags. I want to make sure I've like, thought about it. I've, you know, really taken my time to curate a collection and I'm not just like, scrambling you know what i mean but there are other bags that are always on the wish list and like if they pop up in a good deal and i can't pass it by then you know <laughs> and i need to get lots of work done today so i'm going to leave you until my 24s package comes honestly it feels like christmas this is not even sealed wow that's a bit dangerous this was not even sealed can you imagine? And they put this right on top with the prices. Like this is very bad packaging. And I requested for um, gift packaging and everything. So talk about anticlimactic. But anyway, this is the green color. I was telling you guys about yesterday in the size medium. So we're gonna try this right now. I also got a totem scarf jacket. So both of these items have been on my wish list. Maybe because this is my second time doing this, but this other one felt thicker. The other one felt thicker for sure. <sighs> what do you guys think? This is hard. Let me go get the other one because now I'm confused. The other one felt way more special. This is great because this means that I can actually film my Kate Cardigan video. Color wise, I really like this color. It's definitely warmer but this is like a proper green i don't think it's like i don't know how to describe it like it's like a proper green i thought it would be more like a khaki and it's also i think a little like the holes are a little bit gaping on this one and i actually think the barley one feels thicker oh yeah the barley one feels way thicker I feel like I want to put on some makeup really quickly so I can film these videos. I kind of like the oversized fit in a way. Like I like the sleeve length on this. Do I like the sleeve length on this? The sleeve length is definitely longer. 
I'm going to quickly do my makeup and film. I was actually planning on filming this video next week, but because everything came earlier, I'm like, that's perfect. I can film a bit earlier. I think I'll pick you up when I'm done filming. Let me just quickly do my makeup. <laughs> I wish there was a way I could get like live advice. I mean, I guess I could like take a picture and put it on Instagram, but I don't think it's that serious. I think I'll just wait for my video to go live and wait. <sighs> Good morning, happy Saturday guys. I am on my way to a sports day. My friend is having a fundraising sports day event and I <laughs> am going for moral support. That's <laughs> my outfit. I just feel like I haven't had enough of an opportunity to wear this beautiful dress from Sleeper. So hold on, I need to adjust my brightness a bit. Yes, so. I've decided to bring it out. This is the outfit of the day. This dress is from Sleeper. I'm also wearing these really old tan loafers. I don't even remember where they're from. I've had them for ages. I actually really, really like these. And I'm wearing my, what's wrong with this? My Seconda watch as well. So yeah, I really like my outfit. I'm gonna take my Celine vintage bag. So this is, this is going to be the outfit of the day. I'm wearing that push-up bra that I bought and I feel like it's a little bit too much. Yeah, let me change my bra because I don't want that, like, all that happening at a kid's event. Ooh, I love the way it looks with these colors. I'm still keeping an eye out in case the medium does come back in stock. I would obviously prefer it in a medium. Yeah. But if it doesn't come in stock in a medium, Will I keep it in the large? That's kind of the debate. But I'm going to wait until the video goes live so I can see what you guys think. I'm definitely being ambitious with this dress because the weather. <laughs> oh. oh, the white cake cardigan actually came back in stock. And it's even cheaper than the barley. It's so funny. I feel like now that I have that cardigan, like this literally feels like paper. So funny how that works. I just want to wear my dress. I feel like I've only gotten to wear this once because we haven't had the summer. Anyway, I need to go. I'm going to be dilly-dallying and end up being late. So let's go. <laughs> Hello, guys. I am at Skin Orchid. I've been at the sports fundraiser all day. It went really well. I ended up being put on a um, t-shirt selling duty, which is why I couldn't pick you guys up. But I had such a good time. I'm exhausted. I'm here for what I think is going to be micro-needling though, so I'm not looking forward to it. It's going to be so painful, but um, she's got a stronger numbing cream this time around, so maybe it won't be, and maybe we won't even have to do micro-needling. I don't know. You guys should recognize the waiting area. But yeah, it's such a lovely sunny day. I'm just going to try and like calm down and not be so sweaty here. <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna ask her if I can vlog, so hopefully, um, I'll show you guys my treatments.
my face looks so smooth. Excuse me, precious. <laughs> oh my gosh, my skin has been going through it, guys. So um, after I got my facial done yesterday, we did a C peptide facial, something like that. So I was happy no microneedling, even though it ended up being quite painful because I had to have um, some extractions. I have had a spot here that has just not wanted to go away for it feels like a month at this point in time and I've had like my milia come back, which are all those like little like things underneath my skin. I hadn't been to see Precious in like two months. I think it may even be longer. The last time I saw her, I was meant to get microneedling done, but I found the microneedling so painful that um, she was going to order in a stronger numbing cream and it took some time. What I possibly should have done was like been more proactive and been like, oh, I can come in and do something else while we're waiting on the microneedling, but I didn't. When she saw my skin, she said that my skin looks like it was stressed and um, we did a facial, which was kind of relaxing up until the last bit I vlogged, which was the mask, that mask. Oh my gosh, I really hated it. So it was one of those masks that gets super, super tight and it's the weirdest sensation. Like it makes your skin pulse almost. Like my skin was going like that from the inside. And she said that it does that to bring oxygen to your face or blood, I think, to your face, which is supposed to help with like healing and a bunch of other like great things. But it was so uncomfortable. So while that was happening with the mask, I was also underneath an LED light and I had to stay there for like 20 minutes. And it was just like, I was literally just like counting down like because she plays music in her treatment room so i was just counting down like okay 20 minutes should be like four songs but it was more like six i was literally losing my mind i was so tired by the time that was done i don't know if i talked to you guys about what really happened at the fundraiser but it was basically a sports day fundraiser and i had already like gone with the intention of like looking after one of my friend's kids so i was just going to be like you know auntie for the day because he was participating in the sports and i was obviously there for moral sport but when I got there, one of my aunties asked me to help sell shirts. So I was basically selling shirts and babysitting. So I literally had like my hands full. You know what I mean? But I did such a good job selling shirts. And it really, really, really reminded me of a jelly days. Like if anyone knows, I used to have a business back in Nigeria um, selling handmade natural skincare products. And I used to do exhibitions all the time, you know, where you have your table, your stand, you're interacting with people, you're selling things. And it really just took me back to that phase. And I really, 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 really love that. Like I love selling like products that I'm passionate about. And obviously in this case, selling t-shirts for a really great cause. And I liked that I was able to kind of help to support the cause in that way. And the great thing is that the event was in Highgate, which is where my esthetician is. So all I had to do was like walk down to her. What is this? Sorry, I'm getting so distracted. All I had to do was like walk down to her um, treatment room and get my facial done. And I timed everything perfectly. So it was a great day. <laughs> very, 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 very full on. By the time I came back, I just made myself some dinner, took a shower and like watched <laughs> Real House of Atlanta until I fell asleep. I was just exhausted. But anyway, I'm up bright and early because I really, really, really want to make a decision about this cake cardigan. I think the issue with the cake cardigan is that I'm actually in between sizes, like with most things. I think the medium is a tad too tight along the buttons. Like when you button it, it's a tad too tight. And um, I think the large is, is, is just too big. So I think that's the issue. And the color that I really, really want is not in stock in the medium at least not on any websites that are running any promotions. I did also end up ordering another one because Farfetch started doing a 20% off discount code. Like all the, all the stores are obviously trying to compete with each other. So Farfetch started doing a 20% off, but with Farfetch, they were doing it on the cream color only, I think. The barley color is still like 2000 pounds on there. I don't know why, like Farfetch's pricing is really weird. And I think they had the discount on the black as well, but I, 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 I don't know. I, I prefer to wear lighter colors in the winter because it's already quite gray and miserable. So wearing black and like really dark colors, like just makes it messes with my mood. Although I do regret like not going for that black one on um, what you call it vestiaire because <laughs> that was a great deal in hindsight that was an amazing like once in a lifetime deal but anyway um the cake cardigans i definitely see how people have multiple like they are so amazing 
And the truth is, I'm prob- probably going to end up having multiple. Like, I can already sense it. It's just not what I planned for, but I can already... F- you know when you can already see, yeah, this is going to... Okay, yeah, just close your eyes type of thing. <laughs> so I picked you guys up because I wanted to show you guys the totem scarf jacket that I bought. I was going to make a whole video on it, but I'm not keeping it, so I've decided not to do that. Um, I wanted to show it to you guys because I'm going to pack it up to return it. And I'm also going to pack up everything else I bought. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. Like, I love totem's aesthetic. I had a feeling if I tried this on when I was like properly dressed, I would like it more. Uh. This is a jacket that I've always had my eye on. This is the Totem scarf jacket. Yes, I know you can get dupes, but you know, sometimes it's good to just get the original. So I got this on 24S. 24S, was, they do 15% off your first order, like most of these websites, and they had this at the best price point. So with the 15% off, it actually worked out to be like 600 pounds. I think Totem sells it for 810. I'm just gonna start telling you guys prices so that you're able to kind of follow along. And again, this is kind of why I was saying I'm going to return the jacket when you should dress because I just feel like I'm going to get more cost per wear out of a jacket or a cardigan than I would say a dress. And I'd rather put that money into something that I'm going to use more often. So yeah, when I first tried this on, I was like, I don't know if this is my style, I don't really like the way it looks, it's also a bit itchy, but I think I was just in a bad mood because I really like it now. <laughs> I really like it now. So this is the size 40, which I honestly feel like is the first thing that's like fit me the way it's supposed to fit me. Yeah, this is how it's supposed to be, quite straight and boxy. And again, this is something that I've wanted for a really long time, it was on my um, wish list for this year and it has like a scarf attached to it so that's how that's why it's called a scarf jacket but this fabric is really itchy i'm not gonna lie like people did mention that it was it itchy but i don't think they like accurately portrayed how itchy it is i'm not gonna lie like i'm kind of warming up to this and it's not itchy in a way that's bothering me it's just itchy in a way where it doesn't feel like super soft, like the K cardigan feels super soft, but the K cardigan is cashmere, so. Um, and this is actually a, a very dark gray. This cardigan comes in, bl in black, but I've talked about that already. Um, and it also comes in a light gray, but light gray for me, I don't know, I feel like what makes this jacket really beautiful is the contrast between the piping. And for me, I just feel like the light, the contrast between this and the light gray and the beige and the olive it just doesn't really strike as much as this for me like this is very striking and it almost kind of comes across as black like you can wear black against it and it doesn't look weird wow i, I feel like i like this better than the hate cardigan loki oh my god i did not see that coming because right now i'm wearing a sleeveless top and i'm actually fine and obviously during winter i'm not going to be wearing sleeveless tops i'm going to be wearing long sleeve tops so it's not actually that bad oh my gosh let me find out i'm gonna keep this and return the cake cardigans <laughs> i'm so confused i was not expecting that in a way i almost wish that this was detachable the scarf but i already knew it wasn't i'm gonna stop um like wishing things were different than the way they were because that's a waste of life <laughs> This is actually very cute. I don't know what's wrong with me. Wow, now you can see like my real life reaction. Like the 360, you guys literally saw, or the 180, you guys literally saw it on camera. That is wild. That's how you know you like something when you want to style it. <laughs> oh my God, I'm obsessed. I think I was saying this in another video, but I don't know if I cut it out, but I was talk talking to my friend Miriam. I almost feel like with luxury purchases, I understand that not everyone's able to do this, but if you are able to buy things, as in order them online to your house, where you can kind of sit with them for a while, try them on with things in your wardrobe, like really sit with things, 
I always feel like that's the best way to go because sometimes you try things on in store, especially for me, like I always feel quite self-conscious in these luxury stores because, you know, I don't want the essays to feel like I'm wasting their time. I know they're trying to make a sale. It's usually very busy. You only really have like that one outfit that you've come in with to try it on. The lighting's always really weird in these stores as well. So you're not able to really like do what I've just done just now, like try it on with my clothes, see how I feel try it on multiple times like i've tried on those cake cardigans at least five times like i was actually saying today like i need to stop before they say it's like too worn or something with this i've just had a complete 360 and i can really see myself wearing oh you know what i should do i should try this on with some knitwear underneath just to see because it's about to be that time like if you can do that i think it's the best way to decide whether something is for you or not because i have been researching the cake cardigan and the totem scarf jacket for years i've spent hours and hours like guys you know how i am i've researched i've watched reviews i've scoured the internet for the best possible deals i've even set up alerts on the pre-love market for items that i've never even tried on in real life and when you kind of think about it like that it, that is such a waste of time i just decided now that if i like something and it's within my budget and it's a good price i'm just gonna order it to my house and i'm gonna think about it sit on it if i don't like it i'm gonna send it back and it gives me some more time to make more informed decisions when it comes to things that are very very expensive you know i guess you can also do it in store to be fair but i think in store it's a little bit more embarrassing for me i think even though it's well within your rights and it shouldn't be embarrassing and now that i have a whole layer on underneath it's not itchy at all and that's actually the more realistic way i'm going to wear this this is getting kept <laughs> this is so nice i don't know what i was thinking so that was a plot twist so maybe i should make a whole video on this <laughs> i don't know i might do yeah with my skin okay the filter's off so you can see my skin in real life now <laughs> i guess i didn't really show you it before so this is what it looks like and we just did a lot of extractions and i don't really know what was in the treatment that i got yesterday i know oh i know there was a lot of retinol at the end this is the spot that i was telling you guys is always on my face so we had to do some extraction extracting on that that was quite painful but it's so worth it like my skin was going through so much guys um i'm not going to leave it that long without seeing her again but yeah because we had got to the point i would be able to see her less frequently and I guess just introduce more actives into my everyday skincare at home. So that's kind of like the stage that we are approaching where maybe I'll be able to go in and see her like once a month or once um, every six weeks or something. And then I'm going to start using more serious skincare at home to maintain. So yeah, I can already see a massive difference with just that one treatment that's great i'm very happy i will have my aestheticians company which is called skin orchid her details will be in my description box totem scarf jacket is a, a absolute i think um the k cardigan is still 50 50. i'm definitely returning the two that i've bought i've ordered another one i think i mentioned that to you guys already because farfetch yeah with farfetch and they were doing an even bigger discount so that ended up being the cheapest one out of all the ones that i've bought but it's in the cream color which honestly was like my second favorite color anyway so if that works out i might x the the barley altogether because low-key as much as i like that barley color it does pull quite gray and my first preference for color is never gray but i do think it's like a nice gray that you can kind of wear with anything like the way they've designed it, it's like more like a taupey color so it does kind of work but in an ideal world it would not be my first color my first choice would have been camel but it's like really really hard to find the camel here this is how i shop guys <laughs> like I, I i i just can't like imagine being one of those people that just like goes off and blows like thousands and thousands of pounds like just willy-nilly like all willy-nilly like i just can't imagine being that person like everything is like such a like massive exercise in my head and it is kind of exhausting sometimes but i do think that this new way that i've kind of discovered will help me in the long run 
I really do think I'll save a lot of time in the long run. I am heading to go sit out in the sun because the sun is out. Like, what a surprise. To be fair, the weather was quite warm yesterday when I was leaving in the morning. It was kind of cloudy and a little bit muggy, but halfway through the fundraiser, it was so nice and warm. So I've just finished, a well, I not finished, I could always do more editing, but I've been doing so much editing all morning. And I told myself that at three o'clock, which is now when my video is supposed to be premiering, I was going to go sit out in a park or a patch of grass or something and just soak up the sun. It's supposed to be 26 degrees right now. And apparently it's going to be 30 degrees this week. I am so happy. Yeah, I am not going to waste all of this sunshine. No siree. So I'm gonna probably leave you guys here because my battery's about to die. This is what I'm wearing. These are the linen trousers that I got from Marks and Spencer's and I'm going to wear my white Arans because <laughs> I've only worn these a handful of times. My tank top is from Zara and I've already packed up my Huawei basket bag. So in here I just have my headphones, my Kindle, some sunscreen, some insect repellent spray, sunglasses, a completely full bottle of water and I'm hoping that I can just chill by the grass get some sun watch my video premiere and maybe do a little bit of reading I'm living my best life oh my god guys like this is honestly like oh, so incredible I'm not putting my head down because I'm a little bit worried about bugs flying into my hair. Um, to be honest, I know bugs here, it's mainly just bees, but it's really nice. I'm just here chilling, soaking up some vitamin D. I think I need to do this like every day this week. I've been here for almost an hour and 20 minutes just talking on the phone with my mom. And I think I'm going to head back home soon because I have a bit more editing to do. But yeah, this is amazing. Oh. I wish I could always be like this, honestly. <laughs> Hi, I'm back. Ooh. Uh, I had the best time. Uh, it's just so crazy how different everything looks when the sun is out. Ooh, I feel like I have a tan. I was only out for um, an hour and 30 minutes because like I told you guys, the facial I got yesterday, I had a bunch of retinol put on my face and it makes me more sensitive to the, to the sun. So before I left, I topped up with my sunscreen and um, I tried to make sure I wasn't out for too long. But yeah, I had a really, really good time. Caught some vitamin D and I really hope that this heat wave lasts all week because my plan is to do this every single day. I I need it like my body just craves the sunshine but anyway I quickly went to Waitrose on my way back because I needed a few things let me show you guys what I got nothing too exciting I got tissue <laughs> the ones I really like are the mega rolls those are like twice as thick as the regular ones but they weren't on offer so I just get whatever's on offer so the regular rolls were two for ten pounds paper towels I honestly don't love having paper towels because they're kind of wasteful but every now and again like there's just certain things that you need paper towels for so oh if you guys have been here for long enough remember when i had that paper towel holder inside my cabinet that fell yeah so now i just like put it under the sink some eggs oh no i'm out of memory card space i got four of these because they're on offer this is the Greek style plain. This is a soya based Greek alternative for yogurt. I love this stuff. Whenever it's on offer, I like to stock up because it lasts kind of pretty long. Expires on the 10th of the 3rd of October. So it lasts about a month. And I get through them pretty quickly. I also picked up some soya milk. I got three of those. I've been going through my milk a lot more now that I am a matcha girly. Speaking of matcha, my waitrose had vanilla syrup i was actually just about to order this on amazon and this is like not a real problem but i'll tell you about it anyway <laughs> because i put my coffee syrups in my cupboards 
I cannot fit those massive one liter bottles. The best value is to buy the one liter bottles on Amazon, which I was going to buy. And I wanted to buy a rose one and a vanilla one, but they didn't have this size of the rose one. So now that I have this size, I can get the bigger bottle and pour it into here. So yes. I wanted to actually find out what you guys think about sugar-free syrups because I feel like they always taste weird. I got a coffee yesterday and it was a sugar-free gingerbread syrup and it tasted so off. Like it has that weird artificial sweetener taste. So I think I'm just gonna stick to the regular syrup because I honestly don't use a lot anyway. And I almost feel like sometimes those artificial sweeteners are worse for you than sugar. I don't know if that's true, but that's how I feel. Anyway, <laughs> I got some agave nectar. I got some easy peelers. I got these mini packs of berries. I think that we're at the end of the berry season, so I didn't want to buy a really big pack in case they're not nice. But I got some strawberries and some blueberries because I'm going to try a really cool recipe, which also involves some dark chocolate. So I wanted to try and make those infamous yogurt bites. They were like so popular on TikTok a while ago. I don't even know like if anyone's still into this phase or not, but I've been wanting to try it for a while. So we're going to do it together. It's really, really easy. So I'm gonna put all this away. It came to 37 pounds originally. And then I had a couple of vouchers and the promotion on the tissue. So it ended up being 34 for everything. A very quick haul. But yes, let's make the yogurt bites because I'm very excited about that. First thing you need to do is wash your berries. The recipe says that you can use any berry of your choice, but I see that most people use strawberries. Strawberries are not my favorite berry, so I actually, got blueberries as well so i'm going to do like half strawberry half blueberry and then i'll see which one i like better this is what these little mini strawberries look like that is very very cute i'm not gonna lie i'm going to wash these so guys what are your favorite berries that's what i'm curious to know <laughs> my favorite berries are blueberries um i think my second favorite would probably be strawberries what else is there? Raspberries, I don't mind. They're not my favorite, but I can eat a whole pack of blueberries quite easily. So yeah, I'm gonna chop these up. Let me even taste them, are they sweet? Hmm, they're not bad. All right, I'll come back to you guys when I'm done chopping these. You need to make sure you're using a thick yogurt. I know that much, so that's about half of the container. So 200 grams and I'm gonna add in this much berries <laughs> i didn't weigh it guys but the packet that i used was 150 grams i'm gonna use this small spoon and just mix that up i'm going to add a little bit of agave just to sweeten it a bit this is my old bottle that's almost done So this is just a piece of non-stick baking paper on top of a chopping, top, chopping board. I've wet the chopping board a little bit, so hopefully the paper doesn't like wiggle around. And I'm going to get a bigger spoon. Kind of scoop it. I'm going to put this in the freezer and you need to freeze it until it's completely solid. Yeah, so. so I'm actually making a salad and I thought that I would show you the always pan because I've been using it pretty much every day since I bought it. Right now I am boiling an egg on it. I know. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure I use it the way it was originally advertised in the sense that this is the only pan you'll ever need. And I'm not gonna lie, so far so good. I have fried eggs on it. I've used it to boil, I've obviously used it to steam, I've cooked on it. It's actually pretty good and the non-stick is really good. I think um, it's too early to like rave about it though. 
but so far I'm very impressed. So I'm just making a salad. If you guys watched my vlog last week, I'm really trying to be better <laughs> with my food choices and get back on track. I just have a mixed salad bag here and I put um, a little bit of sweet corn on top. And I've also roasted two chicken thighs and I'm toasting some protein bread as well. I'm gonna have that on the side. The high protein sandwich this. I get this from Aldi and it's 123 calories per serving. So it's got one egg, two chicken breasts, and just a little bit of sweet corn and salad mix and honey mustard, what you call it? Dressing. I don't know if it's because I use dairy-free milk or, or dairy-free yogurt rather, but the it has it's frozen in a bit of a different kind of way. <laughs> it has all these lines on it. I don't know if you can see it, but I don't know if mine is fully set. Yeah, I don't think it has. So what I was thinking of doing was melting the chocolate and then just drizzling it on top so I don't have to do it in two stages, but I just feel like if I try and take it off, it's gonna crack. Yeah, it's definitely not set. This is going to have to be a project that we continue tomorrow. I'm just going to pop up on the couch. I'm trying to finish off some editing. I really want to try and make sure that I have at least Tuesday's video up and ready to go before I go to bed today. So I'm not scrambling during the week. Thursday's video, I've already done the rough cut. So I think it should be, I think hopefully it should be okay. <laughs> but I'm gonna sign off for today here because um, I don't have much else going on. So I'll pick you guys up tomorrow. Tomorrow, hopefully we should be able to finish off the yogurt things. <laughs> I went to the gym, you guys. <laughs> Good morning. I am exhausted. Oh my God, let me tell you. It is not good to take a break <laughs> off the gym. Um, this is my first time going in three weeks and it was a struggle. Today was lower body day as well. I want to tell you guys the plan I'm doing because I know a couple of you guys are actually using the Evolve You app. So I had mentioned in last week's vlog that I was having a bit of, like, that I was kind of struggling with the amount of workouts that were required for each level, if that makes sense. So the way the Evolve You app works, at least as far as I can figure out, is if you're a beginner, you go three days a week. If you're intermediate, you go four days a week. And if you're advanced, you go five days a week. I personally do not want to be in the gym more than three days a week. That's just me. I know some people like going to the gym very often, but three days a week is my sweet spot. So what I've done is I'm currently doing the build workout, the beginner plan which is one lower body day, one upper body day, and one full body day a week, which again is annoying because they always add in this like optional cardio day or whatever, which is like, all right, but it's fine because I know that I'm still doing other things outside of this. And I think I had mentioned as well, like ideally I want to start doing spinning classes again and how I kind of make sure that I'm pushing myself because I can see my history of every single move. So the great thing about this app, let me like show you an example. These are all the workouts I'm going to do for my upper body workout, right? I can see, for instance, with the lat pull down. Oh, I think I need to start the plan. Okay, so if I start the workout, let's skip the warm up. So if I come to this weight tracking part right here, I can see what my history of this move has been. So the last time I did this workout, I was doing seven to eight reps at, at 42.5 kilos. So right now the plan is trying to get me to do 10 reps because it's assuming that I'm doing the same lower weights, high reps plan, which is what I was kind of doing before. So now I just kind of start at the weight that I stopped at before and adjust the reps because you can adjust the reps in the tracker so you can just change the reps so i would possibly try and do you know the six reps that i was doing before at 42 and a half kilos and just adjust it that way so that's what i did today and um 
it was great because one of the moves was originally meant to be a dumbbell glute bridge but i've already known that i've graduated beyond that and i'm doing barbell glute bridges so you can also alternate different exercises you can adjust the reps you can adjust the weight obviously so in that way you just make sure that you're still challenging yourself having said that high reps and low weights is also quite challenging but i'm in the stage where because i'm like in the body recomposition thing even though i'm not like heavily <laughs> consistent with that you're encouraged to lift heavy so i'm trying to concentrate more on heavier weights fewer reps and let me tell you oof, i'm exhausted another thing with body recomp is protein one hack that i have to make sure that i've hit my protein goals a protein shake right after the gym so this is the protein that i am currently using this is the diet plan protein by PhD. It is a dairy free, I think a plant based protein. I know it's definitely dairy free anyway, at least it should be. Yeah, a vegan protein powder. One scoop is 95 calories, 20 grams of protein. So I like to, um, I think the thing for me that I'm really realizing, the thing about a fitness plan, right, is it's never linear. You just kind of have to learn as you go and tweak because every single person is different now if i have to make a whole protein smoothie in the blender and you know do all of that that's already what should, what can i call it like a lot of work for me <laughs> when i'm fresh freshly back from the gym i'm tired i need to like quickly shower and get on with my day the best thing I can do is just keep it really simple. And these are all things that I know about myself. So I'm just trying to work with myself and not work against myself. So for me, just a little bit of pro a scoop of protein powder, a little bit of milk and a shaker bottle. I don't know where my shaker thing is gone. Hopefully. Okay, found it. Shake, 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 sip. And this helps because I'm actually really, really hungry. And once I've had this, it kind of takes the edge off of my hunger. That's it. So I kind of like down this and um, get my start off the day at 20 grams of protein. It's like, I don't even know how many calories. I'm not really tracking calories at the moment. But that'll probably be like the next step. This week, I really just want to give my body like time to ease into things. I actually think I'm, I might track, but not track like seriously. I just want to get a rough idea on like how much I eat if I just allow myself to eat intuitively. So we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna finish this. I need to go jump in the shower and make myself some breakfast. I think I've showed you guys my breakfast in this vlog already. I have a couple of turkey rashers, eggs, and a slim bagel. I think I'm gonna have that. Probably gonna have the same dinner that I had yesterday, today. And then for lunch, I'll figure out something. But I'm really just trying to like prioritize high protein. My whole aim really for this week is like to eliminate mindless snacking. Cause that's something that I've picked up that I need to put back down. So I haven't bought any popcorn, chocolate, anything like that. Besides the chocolate that I'm obviously going to use for the yogurt bites. And that would be like my end of the day treat. So that's where I want to get to. I've also stopped buying the candy that I was buying. Like all those like little things that just kind of like throw me off track. I'm eliminating all of that crap. And if I ever do get hungry or I need a snack, I'm going to have some fruit, which is why I've stocked up on my um, oranges. I also have some apples. I also bought some berries. I went to Little after, um, after what you call it, the gym and just picked up like some berries and protein granola, all of my usual staples. So I'm really just trying to like, you know, get back on track. I think it's great because I'm figuring out what works for me. And honestly, like having a fitness journey is, it really is like a learning curve. Like you can follow what every, anybody tells you to do, or you can try to like work with yourself and figure out something that you'll be able to sustain because it works with you and your personality type and your lifestyle. And I think that is the stage that I'm at and I'm actually really enjoying it. And I'm really proud of myself. I know like I, I, I don't want it to seem like I'm being so hard on myself. I'm not trying to be perfect whatsoever. 
So yes, even though I haven't been to the gym in three weeks, I kept up with my Pilates and for me that is a win. And the one thing I really, 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 really need to get better at doing is getting in my steps, but we'll figure it out. Maybe it just starts with, you know, wearing my Apple Watch more because that kind of motivates me to at least stand up every hour. I think what I really need to do is just make sure I leave my house. Because if I leave my house and go for a walk, even if it's just in my neighborhood for like 30 minutes on my lunch break and 30 minutes after work, that should help me hit a reasonable amount of steps, no? So let me know what you guys do, especially if you work from home. Let me know what you do to get steps in. At some point I was thinking about buying a walking pad. I think that would be really helpful, especially when the weather gets bad. I mean, we have beautiful weather this week, so I, I know I'll be more motivated to get outside, but like when the weather gets dreary again, then what? Walking for transportation, it's all well and good, but sometimes you really just need to like get somewhere quickly. <laughs> I don't necessarily like walking in my area, but that's like a whole nother story for a whole nother day. But it's like, I like walking in parks and stuff like that when the weather's nice. So my plan for after work is to go to another park and just walk around and try and soak up some sun. But yeah. I'm gonna pick you guys up when we're finishing off the yogurt bites. I think that's enough rambling for now. <laughs> hi, 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 hi. <laughs> I've um, been working all day, but I wanted to show you guys these. It's set now, because I've moved one around and it, oh, okay, now it wants to show off. It was coming off before I went to get you guys. There we go. <laughs> so it's all solid one piece now. So, what I'm going to do actually before I take all of these off of the sheet is I'm going to melt my chocolate. So this is the chocolate I got yesterday. It's the lint dark chocolate with sea salt. So we're going to melt everything. Make it a little bit easier. So I'm not too happy with the way the chocolate melted. Granted, this is not cooking chocolate, but it didn't melt very nicely. It's quite... I don't know. I think it'll be fine. This is how I saw another YouTuber make hers. Her name's Freya. This is so messy. Yeah, this is actually a bit annoying. Maybe try and brush the chocolate on. Yeah, I don't know why. I should have tried like one of those drizzle things and I think I'll do some without chocolate. Oh, what have I done? This is not working guys. I'm just using my finger now. <laughs> chocolate was a bit of a fail, I'm not gonna lie. I ran out of chocolate, but it's okay. <laughs> and then I think I will defrost one in a little bit. Or maybe I can eat this one actually without the chocolate. I'll leave this one out. It's already starting to melt, so I feel like I should try it. it doesn't look like the nicest thing. It's actually quite nice. It tastes like a frozen lolly. A very like a like a healthy popsicle. You know what? I think this would be better if you put it in like a popsicle maker. That would be better. Because having to hold like this is quite cold. It's fine. I don't know that I would go through the stress of making this again. I think I might eat it with the spoon actually. <laughs> I feel like there's so many ways that you can make this better. I think that's what my issue is. <laughs> I feel like if you blended the fruit with the yogurt and sweetened it a bit, forgot about all the chocolate faffing, you could just make like a frozen yogurt, like a froyo lolly stick thing. It's all right. That's what I'm gonna say, it's all right. <laughs> this is nice, it's a nice refreshing little snack. It's heat wave week. I'm so excited guys. I'm actually going to sign off this week's vlog here because I think I have way too much footage as this. So I will um, pick you guys up tomorrow but tomorrow for me will be next week for you. <laughs> if you've made it to the end of the vlog, I hope you have enjoyed it. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you guys on Tuesday during the week, or I'll see you next Sunday in another weekly vlog. Bye.